Breaking news this afternoon, the new Douglas County Detention Center for Juveniles won't be opening until next year at the earliest. It was supposed to be ready to house teenagers in November. Yeah, a majority of commissioners had concerns that there wouldn't be enough beds for the current population, so they voted to delay. But uh, what are the solutions? Our Brian Mastery is on your side in the newsroom with some answers for us. Brian, this seems like quite the delay. Right, Jacqueline, those who want to slow down the transition from the Douglas County Youth Center to what is now called the Youth and Family Support Center call it a simple math problem. Here's why. By the numbers, the current number of juveniles detained at the Youth Center is 73. 60% of them are in on gun crimes. Well, the new facility has an operating capacity of 52 beds. So if their transition happened today, for example, 21 juveniles wouldn't have a bed. And many wonder, what do you do with them? The county commissioners heard from the public and debated among themselves over the possible day for delay for three hours this afternoon. Commissioner Chris Rogers told his colleagues that he thinks the delay is a bad move, that they are on course to be under that 52 bed threshold by November. But the five other commissioners aren't convinced voting to push the move into next year to buy time to find solutions. I think we need options and opportunities. This delay could give us options and opportunities. By options and opportunities, the commissioners are expecting nonprofits to come forward with programs to help give juveniles another route towards rehabilitation without a long detention. So here's the finer points, John and Jacqueline. The Douglas County Youth Center, the current facility, won't be closing in January as planned. And the new benchmark for moving into the new place comes with sort of a prove it can be done piece. The juvenile population needs to be at 52 for six months before that transition even happens on your side.